Since the season two of Warrior Nun is making rounds on the internet, people are curious to know more about the magical behind the scenes of the show. The new season of Warrior Nun took us all on a journey of action and emotion, but the situation was pretty much the same behind the scenes too, as the new season of the show was filmed during a pandemic. And things got a little tricky for the cast. The director of the show, Simon Barry, breaks up the whole situation, saying, The only downside was when people on the show got sick. It became, obviously, a struggle to reorganise shooting around that. It's obviously difficult to film shows or movies in a situation like this because outdoor filming was very limited. The creator said that they had to do outdoor shoots for the most part, so the permissions for that and then restrictions while following all the safety measures was obviously very difficult. But it also helped them stay safe during the filming, and most of their cast and crew remained healthy, which is all that matters. There were scenes in the show that are shot in public, and the creator says that there were times when they almost forgot to tell people to take their masks off, and then they had to go for multiple takes because of it. It might be the reason why no one found out that the show was filmed during the pandemic. In addition, Alba Baptiste, playing Ava on the show, once showed her disappointment for the lack of action sequences in the first season of the show. But we could see her fighting quite a lot in the second season, and Barry said that she was very happy about it until she got to know how hard it is to do all the action sequences by herself. He also revealed that Alba put in a lot of hard work and did intense training for her role. Barry said in an interview, Alba did all of her own stunt training and all of her own fighting, except for certain moments, and that was great for her. Barry also revealed that Alba is a trained gymnast, so she didn't really need a body double for the most part. But of all the fighting scenes on the show, Episode 7's fight with Lilith had to be the most iconic, because it had to be the right blend of VFX and action. According to Barry, we did a lot of VFX work on that fight sequence, and a lot of choreography, and a lot of camera trickery to make that work. There are also also some videos of the girls practicing their fight scenes with guns and filming the scenes. In fact, Christiana Tonteri Young, playing Beatrice, also performed all the stunts by herself. She's a ballet dancer, so performing all these stunts might be easier for her, but she surely did a lot of training according to the videos of behind the scenes. In one of the scenes, Alba and Beatrice both are on the harness, and they're shooting the most iconic fight scene. After the addition of VFX, this scene became so realistic when it was mainly because the actresses performed it all by themselves. Not only these two, but Lorena Andrea, playing Lilith, also took personal martial art training from London to prepare for her role. She had to perform all the stunts effortlessly, and for that, it was important for her to be properly trained. She has recently shared some of her combat videos on Instagram, and fans can't help but get smitten over the actress. Another video has recently surfaced from behind the scenes of the show, where Jack Malachy, playing Miguel, is seen struggling to do a flip with the harness. We could see him doing a flip and then falling on the ground. Round, but he managed to get better at it and did really well on the show. Olivia Delkin, playing Sister Camilla, also gave us a sneak peek on the last fighting scene, which is being considered the best of them all. She said that they all had to take personal training to do that scene, and they had a lot of fun doing it. She said, I know the last fight was the hardest one, because all of us were fighting and there was choreography and you had to be very precise. Also, when it comes to the last fight, we see Camilla spitting over her opponent, and it really leaves an impact and and shows us how frustrated the character was. Olivia revealed that she personally asked the director, could I spit on him at the end? She also asked the actor, and when everyone was on board, actually did it after attacking him with an arrow. She said that her character wasn't satisfied with just that. But it was not all action and fights during the filming of the show, as the cast also seemed to have a whole lot of fun. A lot of videos came out in which they're just goofing around and dancing on the locations of the shoot. In one of the videos, the cast is even seen playing cards behind the scenes, which tells us that behind the scenes were super chill for them, and they bonded over quite easily with each other. In most BTS pictures, the cast could be seen laughing and having precious moments with each other, and it made the fans super happy to see their favourite characters bonding off screen. Not only this, but Olivia Delkin also revealed that the cast treated each other like real sisters, which made it easier for their interactions to look more authentic on the show. They said, With the actors Lorena, Toya, Christina, and Alba, we were really building a bond so we could visualise their sisterhood on screen. Olivia also talked about her bond with the cast and said, We have a couple of WhatsApp groups and yeah, we talk a lot. We do Zoom calls once a week. Alba even came to visit me in Spain. In addition to all of this, the show is also famous for its dreamy locations as it's been filmed in Spain. They've used some of the most iconic locations from Spain and used them perfectly on the show. For instance, they turned La Termica Cultural Center in Malaga into the orphanage home of Ava. There are scenes with Malaga Cathedral too, which is 
is a sight to behold. Real Collegiata de Santa Maria Limea is another location which is most prominent throughout the show. This is a very famous church that has certain Gothic elements, and the nuns use the courtyard of the church to live and work. There are several other locations throughout Spain that made a cameo on the show, and we can't help but wonder how amazingly beautiful they are. The locations were made even more beautiful with the addition of VFX, and while we're at it, you should know that the VFX of the show was done by The Embassy, which is the Oscar-nominated studio that works independently. The showrunner Barry wanted to up the ante in the second season with VFX, and they actually did a pretty good job at making things magical and yet keeping them realistic. There are scenes where we almost feel like everything is happening for real, and that's something that we don't usually feel in such fictional shows. They've used things like bolt motion control rigs to shoot the scenes, and the absolutely complex techniques like body part replacement and CG gore were also used, which elevated the quality of the show and made everything seem real. Winston Helgerson, the president of the embassy, said that Simon Barry is a great person to work with, and he doesn't force things on them and lets them complete their creative process. He also offers his critical insight into the things that are done, and they respect his opinion because of how much experience he has in the industry. Moreover, the thing that stood out the most on the show has to be the warrior-like costumes and the masks that the cast had to wear. Their characters were defined by these costumes, and Christina Sapina has done everything right while designing the costumes for the show. The nuns have to protect the world, and they're also very powerful, so their costumes also show the same as they have dark and leathery armor with robes and head coverings and weapons. The whole look gives us a modern slash war hero vibe, and we're so here for it. The show also takes us on a visual journey when we see the changing style of Ava eventually, and the designer has used the clothes in a perfect way to depict Ava's journey. Not only this, but the costumes were made with real leather. So when the actors wore it, it was really difficult for them to perform because of multiple layers, and it was even harder for them to put on the costumes. The cast also revealed that their weapons were mostly real, even the crossbows. So they obviously were very heavy, and carrying them around throughout filming was kind of a chore. Although they didn't use any real arrows for safety purposes, the crossbows were all real. The cast also loved their costumes because they suited the dark dark and serious tone of the show, and perfectly blended with what was going on in the story. They've even praised Christina Sapina for designing such iconic dresses for them. Olivia Dalkin also revealed that she wanted the nuns to be bold, confident and powerful, but also feminine at the same time. The original novel from which the show is made has taken a very different direction on its female characters, as it objectifies them quite a lot. But the creator of the show has tried to show the female characters as feminine and kind, but also very empowered and powerful powerful at the same time. So, did you watch Warrior Nun 2 already? Tell us in the comments. Also, take care and thanks for watching.